After the conclusive battle between both Goku and Gohan, Goku has now officially claimed a new team leader to represent Universe 7, that being his son Gohan, and helping carrying Universe 7 onto victory as Gohan had proved his worth against Goku in their one-on-one -on -one battle. But despite all else, why is Goku relinquishing his position and having to carry Universe 7 as the team leader? One of many reasons is the fact that Goku is only in this tournament to go on ahead and fight the strongest fighters within the multiverse, not to a degree where he wants to lead his team to victory, although it is very essential that he does, Goku is in this tournament for one reason and one reason only, and that's to fight the multiverse's strongest and pushing his own limits in breaking the boundaries of his power. In comparison to Gohan, after watching Dragon Ball Super Episode 90, it's fairly obvious that both Gohan and Piccolo worked very well as a team in comparison to Ten Shinhan and Goku, which also means that given the situation, if Gohan were to be paired up with multiple fighters on his team, similar to how we saw with Piccolo, Gohan could provide the necessary skill set that needed as a team leader to support his teammates from certain disasters. And with Gohan's new position in helping carry Universe 7 onto victory, Gohan's role now is more important than ever before in the fact that Gohan is now fully responsible as to what happens to his team come the Tournament of Power. But even with that being said, during his battle with Son Goku, Gohan had made something very clear to his father as Gohan told Goku and I quote, my goal is an ultimate form that no one has ever seen before. I'm going to aim for that with a different method method than you, with Goku having to respond by saying strong guys from all universes are going to gather at the tournament, I thought there would be no better place to train myself, but even I've forgotten, Gohan, that you've been right here beside me, and which insinuates that Goku, no matter how much he's trained before, he's noticed Gohan's feats and he's noticed his potential, which ultimately told us that indeed Gohan does have the necessary skill set in carrying the team to victory. The question is, can he get the job done? More pressure is added now onto Gohan. Gohan than ever before, as he is going to be looked at as the measuring stick in representing the team, although there are fighters that are going to be significantly more powerful than Gohan, i.e. Vegeta and Goku, as of right now, Gohan's responsibility is to simply ensure that everyone works together well enough in order to win the Tournament of Power. And with that being said, is Gohan going to achieve a new ultimate form that nobody has ever seen before, just as he told his father? And eerily enough, having to reflect back onto the Cell games, Gohan's new position is ensuring survival for his team, similar to how Goku fought Cell and when he gave up against Cell in order to allow Gohan to fight him, everything that everybody has ever known on planet Earth was riding with Gohan and his ability to defeat Cell. And with that, we have ourselves a likely scenario that if Goku or Vegeta or both get ringed out of this tournament, that it's going to boil down to Gohan and his ability to stay intact in order to survive the Tournament of Power. And having to look at the spotlight now being placed on Gohan more so than ever by Toei Animation and Akira Toriyama, it's more than certain that Gohan Gohan's role is going to be very critical in this tournament as it wouldn't make sense to throw the team leader of the representing universe out early and which allows me to believe that indeed Gohan is going to ensure himself to last a very long time which is key in surviving because Gohan doesn't have to be the strongest all he has to be is the smartest in outlasting everyone else and Gohan has proven time and time again that he does have the ability and the intelligence to survive such a tournament although power is very essential a part of this because Gohan is going to be fighting people even stronger than his dad, such as Jiren and possibly even Hit, the question is, can Gohan come up with the proper solutions in being able to outlast the people that are even stronger than his father? With a new team leader such as Gohan, I do think that Gohan is going to last even possibly towards the finals of this tournament, but did Goku make the right call in entrusting the fate of the universe in Gohan's hands? In my opinion, having to look at the conclusion, I think that Gohan is more suitable to be a team leader than some on Goku, especially if Goku is going to be out to fight the strongest, disregarding his team members and trying to test his own powers, Gohan is going to be the flagship bearer in helping his universe emerge as the victors. But post your comments down below, what are your thoughts on Gohan having to be the team leader? Do you think Gohan is going to push past his own limits, and similar to what he said to his father, in achieving an ultimate form nobody has ever seen before, or is Gohan destined to fail as he's going to go up against 70 of the multiverse's strongest warriors? Thank you all for watching, guys. Once again, if you guys are Dragon Ball fans, don't forget to subscribe for all the latest Dragon Ball news, information, and updates. If you guys cannot wait for the tournament to begin, go on ahead and smash that like button. Tune back in for more, and I'll be seeing you all in the next Dragon Ball video. Take it easy, guys. Peace.